All right, guys, today I am in Belleville, Ontario, Canada, and look what is right behind me here, a Toys R Us. I'm out here filming Spirit Halloween stores, and there was no way I was going to pass up the opportunity to see a Toys R Us store that was still open. They are all closed in the United States, except for this kind of small, mediocre reopening in like some of the Macy's stores or something. And if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know that while they were all closing down in the States, I was out there filming them. But in Canada, they never closed. So there are Toys R Us stores open across the entire country of Canada. My local store actually was a spirit Halloween for a couple of years, and then it turned into a storage unit. All right, let's take a trip in here and see what we can find. I promise you if they have any G.I. Joes, I'm going to be buying them. Look at this. It's actually inside a mall here. They got the Babies R Us sign. We got the Toys R Us sign over here. Look at that. I am like shaking. I'm so excited right now. All right, let's go on in, guys. I honestly don't know if we're going to see any Halloween stuff in here, but I had to put Halloween in the title or else it throws off the YouTube algorithm. Oh, hello, Jeffrey. Look at us. Why does he have a slug on his hand? Oh my gosh. And look, they actually do have a little bit of Halloween stuff here. Let's just take a very quickly look here just to please the algorithm. There's a Michael Myers costume. We got, I see a Hulk and a Spider-Man costume here. A whole bunch of costumes over here, including Beetlejuice and Uno. And then up here we have oatmeal bear and look at this they even have the very hungry caterpillar all right that appeases the halloweeniness let's move on giant welcome to toys r us sign when the toys r us stores and estates were all closing down we were trying so hard to get signs like that me and a couple people even went dumpster diving looking for stuff like that oh my gosh look at this we even have jeffrey the giraffe adorning the end caps. The Toys R Us banners all around. That is so cool. Man, do I miss walking in these stores and seeing all this stuff. There are no toy stores back in the States that are anything like a Toys R Us now. Look at this, this whole section here, this aisle here, the end caps all the way down here. This is all Legos. The other side of the sign says, welcome to Babies R Us, because this store is actually shared with Babies R us. We've got the plush R club over here and look at this. I did notice that on the sign out front the R had a star but some of the stores here actually have a maple leaf since it's Canada. That is awesome. These are all like the younger kids toys and clothes and things over in this section here. Look at this. We got some grumpy bears. Holy crap. I remember how hard it was to find a grumpy bear when Care Bears first came out. All right, let's keep on moving around through here. This is the Babies R Us section, so we're gonna move on over to where the toys are. Look at this, we got a little bit more Halloween here. Hello, baby headless horseman. <laughs> yeah, all of this is all the Babies R Us section over here. And then when we get over to this side, this is Toys R Us right here. Holy crap, I'm so excited. Literally, my heart is like beating out of my chest right now. Look at these awesome remote control cars. We got the Swamp Crawler here, the Rockzilla. We got a bunch of clearance toys here, including Star Wars. Look at that thing. Oh my gosh, and look at this right here. This is one of the areas in a Toys R Us that is so descriptive of a Toys R Us. Not only do we have the ginormous Toys R Us sign up here, but the colors and these cars, every time you walked into a Toys R Us, this was always an awesome section to come to. Even as an adult, I just love standing here looking at this stuff. I remember when I was a little kid, getting in one of these and hitting the gas and like ramming into the other ones. Little Tykes Cozy Coops here and look at this. Look at the bicycle section, guys. Look at all the bikes here. How cool is that? That's a nice bike, boy. What is that, a Huffy? Check that thing out. I do love the blue wheels on there. Reminds me of the BMX bikes in the 80s with the Skyway rims. Oh man, yeah, let's just walk down through here. I haven't got to walk through the bike section at a Toys R Us for years. <laughs> I know how crazy that sounds. And I love the marketing throughout the store. Look at this here. Find more online at toysrus.ca. 
And look at Jeffrey up here, more play. That is awesome, I would love to have one of those. Just standing right here, like spanning the aisles is so cool. This is like a children's paradise or Nate's paradise. I remember watching Saturday morning cartoons and there were always Toys R Us and Children's Palace commercials on. These are all Tonka trucks through here. Matchbox cars here, we got Hot Wheels down here. Oh my gosh, look at how many more Hot Wheels there are than Matchbox. And if I'm not mistaken, Matchbox is actually now owned by Mattel and Hot Wheels is owned by Mattel. Hot Wheels skateboards, what? Oh, check this out. A Hot Wheels SpongeBob monster truck. What the heck, Masters of the Universe Ford Transit Super Van? So these are all the regular Hot Wheels here, and then down here are all the licensed property Hot Wheels. Like we got Star Wars here, we got Fast and the Furious, Mario Kart Marvel up there, Rock'em Sock'em Robots. It's so much fun just to stand here looking at all this stuff. This is what a toy store is all about. You'll never get this experience shopping online. You can come into the store and actually look at each and everything here and kind of pick it up and go, oh man, that is cool. What's it look like on the bottom? That is sweet. I'm not kidding, man. You guys don't know what you're missing. All right, let's move on. Here we have some characters here. What is this? Oh, this is Power Rangers, Wakanda Forever. Here's some Beyblades and Bakugan. Is that how you say those? Beyblades are kind of like Battling Tops, I guess. Battling Tops was the game we had like this back when I was a kid. They were actually tops, like spinning tops. You put in there, you pull the ripcord, and then they go in and they battle to the death. All right, now we're getting into some action figures here. Check this stuff out. We got the Marvel. We got Iron Man down here. We got Spider-Man Marvel's Rose. What the heck is that? The Executioner. I'm not a big Marvel person, but there's X-Men. There's more X-Men. I come from the days of three and a half inch G.I. Joe guys. Check this out. Indiana Jones Belloc. Oh my gosh, how cool is that? I wish they had like an extra little face, a melting face that you could put on top of his for when he opens the Ark. Look at this, we got Marion Ravenwood. We got Sala into the German mechanic that gets his face sheared off by the propeller. I don't see any Indies in here though. Look at this though, we have the Indiana Jones Adventure Series Staff of Ra headpiece. How cool is that? I am probably going to regret not buying that. Oh my gosh, why am I putting it back on the shelf? Okay, fine, I'll buy it. All kinds of Jurassic Park dinosaurs over here. Ah, oh, yes, we got Ninja Turtles here. I remember when the original Ninja Turtles came out, and this is what they looked like right here. That is so cool, a giant Raphael figure. Giant versions of the original 1989 figures. We got Donatello, Leonardo, Mi Michelangelo, and Raphael. So very cool. Oh, this is what I'm talking about right here. G.I. Joe. Look at this. They got a whole bunch of G.I. Joe stuff on the end here. A handful on this side. We got Destro and Gung Ho. Lady J and Scarlet. We got a Duke down here. These are bigger though. These are like, these are probably six inch figures, but it looks like they have all the points of articulation, the ankles, the knees, the wrists, the elbows. More Ninja Turtles over here. Here, and then I did notice some smaller G.I. Joes over here. This is the kind of stuff that I grew up with right here. The little three and a half inch figures. Now these are like re-re-re-re-re-releases. <laughs> but this is about what they looked like. They had all the points of articulation though, which is again, like the elbows, the wrists, the knees, the ankles, all that stuff bent. You could pose them in any way you wanted. It looks like you can bend these things at like the waist and the shoulders, and that's just about it. I always wanted the G.I. Joe aircraft carrier, and I never got it because it was so expensive. Nowadays, it's going for thousands and thousands on eBay. I would definitely be buying some of these G.I. Joes today if they had some that were more like the originals. But personally, I would rather spend the money on eBay and get the originals. I love the big banners up here, Marvel, Star Wars. That's the kind of stuff that just pulls you into the actual experience of shopping in a toy store more 
more G.I. Joe. Oh, check this out. We got Dreadnought. Now, I will say, if they had a Zartan, I would definitely be buying it. We got all kinds of Nerf guns over here. Check this out. The Nerf Dino Squad Armor Strike. Zuru X Shot Fortress. I even love the little signs like this. R price match. We won't be beaten on price. And of course, we got the whole game section over here. Tons of awesome games. There are so many different types of Uno nowadays. Oh my gosh, we were actually playing Skip Bo last night in the RV. Check this out. Goosebumps the game. Clue. Colonel Mustard in the library with a lead pipe. Oh my gosh, they even have Ninja Turtles Monopoly. Oh my gosh, look at this. Rubik's Cube. If you had a Rubik's Cube in the 80s, you were the coolest kid on Earth. I didn't have one, but we won't open up that box. We got more Legos over here, and look at the branding up on this sign here. I love all the R's and the stars. Toys R Us bags here. Look at the checkout lights up here, too. I actually had a yellow and blue one from my local Toys R Us when they closed down. Oh my gosh, look at this. We got a couple of other Halloween things here. A movie, Elvira's Haunted Hills. All right, that looks cool. And look at the book here, Haunted Canada, the third terrifying collection. We got more action figures and plush and Mario and Pokemon over here. Clearance, Michelangelo plushes. How cool are those? Tons of Funko Pops here. Buy one, get one free. Whoa, I was excited by the big turtle back here. This is a giant size turtle. Fully posable 15 inch turtle. Michelangelo. And look at this. Turtles versus Cobra Kai. And they even have horror toys down here. Look at this. We got King Kong, Puppet Master, Terminator 2, The Thing, Aliens, an American Werewolf in London, Gremlins, My Bloody Valentine, Gremlins 2, The Munsters. We got books down here. Oh my gosh, look. They have an elf collectible figure. DVDs over here. They actually have records up here. And let's look at these t-shirts quick before we go here. Oh my gosh, they have so many. This is cool. The Car of the Future, DeLorean. Five Nights at Freddy's, Goosebumps, Halloween 2. Ah, oh, the Goonies! And look at this. We got a grumpy shirt and a ghost face shirt. Scoop it! And yeah, these are all records here. I never thought I would see records in, in stores again. Tupac, the Beach Boys, the Cranberries, Green Day. I believe Green Day are actually from Canada. All right, well, unfortunately, I think that concludes our tour of the Toys R Us. We got to look at those carts when we're leaving. I got to go pay for this guy. Just take one more look around from this end to that end. All right, guys, yes, our final picture here, the Toys R Us carts. How cool is this? I have not seen Toys R Us carts for so long. If you know, you know.